In the last video, I had no idea I was running the risk of frying my computer. This red wire is connected to a 5 volt pin on my Raspberry Pi. The current of the circuit flows through an FSR or force sensitive resistor and then through this blue wire which is connected to a GPIO pin. The problem here is that the GPIO pins of a Raspberry Pi are rated at 3.3 volts meaning this whole time these circuits that I've built could have destroyed the pins. Now that we've learned our lesson, let's expand the circuit. The final version of this project will likely require 12 cups and today we're going to upgrade from just 1 to 3. The circuitry is pretty simple. We will use the same concept from the one cup circuit three times. Each segment has a wire connected to the power supply, which is now 3.3 volts instead of five. The current flows through the force sensitive resistor and then reaches our input wire, which is connected to GPIO. This is where we will be reading the output of the FSR. After the input wire, the current will flow through a 10 kilo ohm resistor and then to ground. In the Python script, we simply read the values from each of the three GPIO pins in use and then output the number of resistors with cups to the mini scoreboard. This is the part of the project where things will start to get complicated. As you can see, there is not a lot of room left on my breadboard and we still need to add nine more cups. If you're not sure what's going on here, check out this video which explains the goal of the project. 